Hi, my name is Bill Howard. I'm the author of What the RAF Fireman Took to War. This book was produced by Shire Publications to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. The book features a foreword, which was specially prepared for this volume, by Squadron Leader Jeffrey Wellham. Wellham was one of the youngest fighter pilots to fly during the Battle of Britain and is now one of the last surviving of the RAF flyers. Wellham, who was born in 1921, joined the RAF in 1939. He was immediately posted to number 92 squadron during the Battle of France and then transferred with the unit to England where he fought in the Battle of Britain. Wellham scored several aerial victories during the battle but survived to fight in Malta and then continued in the RAF for a short period after the war. Wellham's observations in his foreword talk about what it was like to have been a young fighter pilot but also what it was like to fight with so many of those brave heroes who did not survive the battle. Number 92 Squadron featured a number of famous pilots. Uh, Roger Bushell, who is most famous for participating in the Great Escape, was the commanding officer of the unit. And Brian Kingham was also an outstanding leader of that combat unit. Kingham and Wellham developed uh, quite a relationship during the war. Uh, Kingham nicknamed him Boy because of his kind of brash and cocky attitude. And he was well regarded uh, as a member of that squadron. Wellham himself produced his own memoir of his time in the service, which is called First Light. And in this book, he talks about his transformation from a young man into a hardened fighter pilot. The book was also made into a uh, BBC television series, which is very popular both in the United States and in Great Britain. Wellham's introduction was provided in a letter in which he made some handwritten corrections. Uh, that introduction uh, will be accompanied by about 50 photographs of different artifacts that were used by pilots during the war. Uh, these artifacts range from compasses to flight helmets and good luck charms. Uh, the goal of the book was really to talk about, uh, through these artifacts, th the nature of what it was like to have been a fighter pilot, uh, the fact that although we revere these men as heroes today, they were in fact real flesh and blood individuals, people who lived and died and fought to keep the Germans from coming into England. During the 70th anniversary of the Battle of Britain a few years ago, uh, Jeffrey Wallen was asked by a newspaper reporter what he remembered about the battle. And he chose not to talk about the combat operations or his aerial victories. What he talked about was the thing that meant most to him in remembering those, those days of 1940. He talked about how his most vivid memory was of the camaraderie of the men. And he said if he could think back and recreate it, it would be you know, in the mess hall, surrounded by fellow fighter pilots, surrounded by their family members, surrounded by beautiful ladies. He talked about the clinking of ice in the glasses. And he talked about that if he could have it all to live over again, it would be those moments, not the moments of combat, but those moments when 92 Squadron was there all together, all these young men in the prime of life, celebrating life, because on a daily basis, they really stood on the edge between life and death.